Hi, this is Oxy. This is just a quick demonstration on how to use annotations within your YouTube videos uh, as a way of a thank you um, for spreading this about this video about. Um, yeah, so if you've noticed at the end of my video, uh, the Art of Oxy portfolio, if you go to the very end, if you went that far, there's a um, section where you can click on various thumbnails and once I click if you click on one of those if I click if you click on one of those it'll take you to the next the video you want it to go to so I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on how to do this so let's let's go back so what we do we go edit video and we go to annotations and here's the video and basically what it is at the end I, I just uh, added this image to the very end with uh, thumbnails uh, with various videos various videos that I've posted on YouTube okay so if you want to know how to do this I will now show you And what we'll do, we'll get it to follow the cursor. So what you can do, you can add a what they call a highlight. So if we click on this, no, sorry, it's called a spotlight. So you click on spotlight, like so, and then you can enter your text. I'm going to call it Oxy Video. So there you go. And as you can see, there are three options, well, four options. There's add, change your annotation type, uh, URL, add an annotation link, and the colors of your um, annotation. And you can also bin it as well if you make an error. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that, and it says, look, paste a link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Stephen Fry painting, uh, grab the URL off that, Control C, Control V. Uh, sorry, Control Control V, and then we click Save. Now, as you can see, this text here, you can actually move this text about, like so. And then also, as well, if you can see see here, there's a, a there's a timeline. And that allows you to set where you want your annotation to appear. So let's go 247, ending at 257. Okay. And then what you just do, you go save, then publish. Let's get the uh, video bigger again. And let's just replay that. Okay, so we're going to replay that now. So let's view on video page. There you go, there's the video running. Let's cut to the end. And as you can see now, I'll zoom in on that. <clears throat> I've now created a highlight. So there you go, I've created a highlight. And then what I can do is I click on that. And it takes me to a video I've suggested. And Stephen Fry painting as a, as a demonstration. So 
it and let's go back again. There we go, all my all my images are highlighted. And then I can click on one of the, the user can click on one of those and then get sent to a video on YouTube. Unfortunately it doesn't uh, do links to other sites but it helps you promote within the uh, within the YouTube. Uh, also what else could you use it for? You could use it for many things. You could use it for say for example a online adventure game. You could use it like that. Uh, do you want to turn left? click on this video, do you want to turn right, click on this video, that that kind of thing. So um, it's very useful. A lot of I've seen a lot of people start using it nowadays. Um, so yeah, just go for it and uh, have fun with it. Okay, my name's been Oxy. I hope this has been useful. Uh, please rate, subscribe to the show. Uh, that'd be good. Alright then, take care. Bye.